the life cycle of the silkworm. Meet the silkworms. A silkworm is an insect. It's not a worm, it's a caterpillar. A silkworm looks like it has many legs, but only six are true legs. It uses the other 10 legs to cling to plants. Many years ago, silkworms lived in the wild. Today, silkworms live only on silk farms. Silkworms are domesticated and silk farmers raise them to get the silk thread used to make silk cloth. The silkworm begins life as a tiny egg, and the egg is one of about 300 sticky yellow eggs laid by the female silk moth. The egg needs to be cold for a few weeks. When the egg is warmed up, and its center turns black, the warm egg hatches in about 10 days. When the tiny silkworm's larva is ready to hatch, it bites a hole in the egg, and then it wiggles out. And the newly hatched silkworm larva looks like a tiny black string. At first, it's too weak to crawl very far, but it is ready to eat. The new larva needs to have its food close by. It eats only mulberry tree leaves. In a few days, the larva will be stronger and it will crawl from leaf to leaf. The larva eats a lot of mulberry leaves. It does not drink water and it gets enough moisture from the leaves. Molting. The larva skin does not stretch as it grows. To get bigger, a silkworm must molt. The old skin splits and the silkworm wiggles out wearing its new skin. The larva molts four times. After the fourth molt, the larva eats even more mulberry leaves than it did before. It grows to be about as long as your finger. The larva is ready to spin a cocoon and it makes its cocoon from one long sticky silk thread that comes from its mouth. First the larva spins a silk web and then it spins and spins for three days. It spins a silk cocoon around itself. Inside the cocoon the larva molts one last time. This time it changes to a brown pupa with a hard shell. And after two weeks, the shell splits, and the pupa has changed into a white adult moth. It has wings, large eyes, and a feathery antenna. My favorite page. It is time for the silk moth to leave the cocoon. To get out, it spits a special liquid, and the liquid wets the inside of the cocoon and makes a hole in the strong silk. The silk moth pulls itself through the hole and in about an hour its damp wings unfold and dry. It's amazing. The silk moth has six legs and two antennas. It also has four wings but it cannot fly. It only flutters and hops. For the next few days, the silk moth does not eat or drink anything. Silk farmers raise silkworms for their cocoons. The silk thread of a cocoon is woven into silk cloth. On silk farms, most pupas never change into moths. If moths were allowed to come out of their cocoons, there would be holes in the cocoons. They will be useless for making silk cloth. The long white silk thread from the cocoon is as thin as a spider's web. It, un it is unwound from the cocoon. Machines twist the threads together to make one strand of silk. 
The strands are woven into silk cloth, and the cloth can be dyed any color to make beautiful clothing like this. The female moth is bigger than the male, and soon after coming out of the cocoon, she gives off a scent to help the male find her, and then they meet. After mating, the male moth dies, and the female moth lays her eggs a few hours after mating, and then she will die too. Here's a picture of the life cycle. Start as an egg, larva. Then the larva gets bigger by munching on lots of mulberry leaves. They eat a ton. Then the cocoon. Inside the cocoon is that pupa. And then when that moth appears leaving the cocoon, and you see the big silk moth adult. Some fun facts for you at the end of this book. I love reading these to my class every year. The silkworm larva moves its head back and forth in a figure eight pattern as it spins its cocoon. Did you know it also takes 110 cocoons to make a silk tie? And it takes three, 630 cocoons, co cocoons to make a silk shirt. Other kinds of moths can fly to escape predators but a silkworm moth has no predators and does not fly. This is my favorite fact. A single thread of silk from a cocoon can be as long as a mile. That is about as long as 17 soccer fields laid end to end. And a single thread of silk is stronger than the same size thread of some types of steel. I really wish we could have learned about silkworms in class and you could have saw what a real silkworm looked like because they're lots of fun. So if you ever get the chance to raise your own, it's a great insect and very easy to upkeep. The only thing you have to make sure you have is a mulberry tree nearby your house. And Woodland Elementary School actually has a mulberry tree right outside and that's usually where we get the leaves to feed um, our silkworms every year.